In this podcast episode, Michael Easter, a best-selling author, journalist, and professor of psychiatry, discusses the comfort crisis that humanity is currently facing. He explains that as a species, humans have evolved to seek out the easiest and most comfortable options, but this behavior comes with consequences. Easter argues that our pursuit of comfort has led to burnout, stress, mental health problems, and a constant search for the next pleasure. Easter highlights the addictive nature of certain behaviors, such as gambling and social media, which exploit our desire for quick rewards and unpredictability. He explains that these behaviors activate the same reward pathways in our brains that were once crucial for survival, such as finding food. However, in our modern world, these behaviors can lead to addiction and negative health outcomes. One of the key issues Easter addresses is the impact of noise on our health. He cites a study that found 2,000 heart disease deaths in Europe each year are attributed to the noise people are exposed to. Easter explains that our ancient brains are wired to perceive loud noises as a threat, and living in a constantly noisy environment can lead to chronic stress and disease. Another topic Easter explores is the impact of loneliness on our health. He explains that loneliness is a significant risk factor for various health problems and can even shorten our lifespan by 15 years. Easter distinguishes between being alone, which can be a choice and an opportunity for self-reflection, and feeling lonely, which is a lack of social connection and support. Easter also discusses the concept of moderation and why humans struggle with it. He explains that our brains are wired to seek out scarcity and unpredictability, which can lead to addictive behaviors. He uses the example of slot machines to illustrate how the scarcity loop, consisting of one opportunity, unpredictable rewards, and quick repeatability, can keep us hooked on certain behaviors. He emphasizes the importance of embracing discomfort and challenging ourselves. He believes that by doing so, we can break free from addictive behaviors and find greater satisfaction and fulfillment in our lives. He encourages individuals to take control of their choices and to be mindful of the impact of their behaviors on their overall well-being. The podcast continues with a discussion on how our ancient brain can work against us in the modern world. Easter explains that our brains are wired to prioritize survival, which often leads to behaviors that are not beneficial in our current environment. He introduces the concept of scarcity and how it affects our mindset, causing us to feel like we never have enough. This scarcity mindset can lead to various problems, such as overeating, overspending, and constantly seeking more. Easter suggests that the first step to overcoming this mindset is becoming aware of it. By observing our behaviors and recognizing the scarcity loop, we can start to make changes. He explains that we can remove or change any of the three parts of the scarcity loop. Opportunity, unpredictable rewards, and quick repeatability. By altering these factors, we can break free from the scarcity mindset. The conversation then shifts to the idea of not feeling enough. Easter shares his hypothesis that humans are built with a genetic code that drives us to constantly strive for more. He explains that this drive may have been advantageous in the past for survival purposes, but in today's world, it can lead to feelings of inadequacy and a constant need for more. The topic of status is also explored with Easter discussing the importance of status in human behavior. He explains that status was crucial for survival in the past, as it provided advantages such as access to resources and mates. Today, status still plays a role in our lives, affecting our health and well-being. Easter shares a study that found people of lower status tend to have worse health outcomes than those of higher status, even in countries with universal health care. The conversation then turns to the problem of snacking. Easter explains that snacking became popular in the 1970s when the food industry introduced it as a new category of eating. Snack foods are designed to be quick, easy, and have intense flavors, which can lead to overeating. Easter emphasizes that processed snack foods are less filling per calorie than whole foods, leading to increased consumption and potential weight gain. The importance of feeling full is discussed, with Easter explaining that the level of fullness can impact our calorie intake. 
He shares a study that found plain boiled potatoes to be the most filling food per calorie, while croissants and cookies were the least filling. Easter suggests that choosing foods that are more filling can help control calorie intake and potentially aid in weight loss or maintenance. The conversation then delves into the topic of fasting. Easter acknowledges that fasting can be an effective weight control tool for some people, as it helps to constrain calorie intake. However, he also notes that the approach to fasting should align with individual goals and be done in a healthy manner. He cautions against extreme fasting practices that may be detrimental to muscle mass. The discussion on exercise and its impact on happiness follows. Easter highlights the importance of exercise for overall health and well-being. He explains that inactivity is detrimental to our health, and exercise is a way to counteract the negative effects of a sedentary lifestyle. Easter also mentions the prevalence of mental health problems in modern society and suggests that exercise can be a beneficial tool for improving mental well-being. The conversation then focuses on rucking, a form of exercise that involves carrying weight while walking. Easter explains that rucking provides both cardiovascular and strength training benefits. He suggests that rucking can be a more sustainable and less injurious form of exercise compared to running. Easter emphasizes the importance of incorporating physical activity into our daily lives, as our ancestors did. The podcast continues with a discussion on the changes in our physicality due to modern lifestyles. Easter explains that our bodies have adapted to be good at two things. Running long distances relatively slowly and carrying things for distance. However, modern lifestyles have engineered physical activity out of our lives, leading to changes in our fitness and physicality. Easter suggests that incorporating activities that mimic our ancestral behaviors, such as rucking, can help maintain a healthier physical state. Easter emphasizes the importance of exercise as a psychological act. In the past, when humans were out in nature, exercise was psychologically stimulating because there were potential dangers like wild animals. However, in today's world, Exercise has become monotonous and devoid of psychological stimulation. People often exercise in gyms while watching screens or engaging in other distractions. Easter argues that exercise should be psychologically stimulating and that outdoor exercise, especially in natural environments, can provide the cognitive benefits that are lacking in indoor exercise. The conversation then shifts to the concept of being a 2% person. Easter explains that only 2% of people choose to take the stairs instead of escalators when both options are available. He suggests that being a 2% person means making small choices in daily life that add more activity and discomfort. These small choices, such as taking the stairs, walking while on a phone call, or parking far away from a destination, can have a significant impact on overall health and well-being when accumulated over time. The conversation also touches on the relationship between exercise and mental health. Easter argues that outdoor exercise, especially in natural environments, can have a positive impact on brain health. He cites research that suggests outdoor exercise requires more cognitive work and can be more beneficial for brain health compared to indoor exercise. He encourages people to embrace discomfort and engage in outdoor activities that require cognitive effort such as trail running or hiking. The podcast also explores the concept of uncertainty and its role in personal growth. Easter emphasizes the importance of embracing uncertainty and taking risks in order to discover one's true capabilities. He believes that humans are capable of much more than they realize, but they need to push themselves out of their comfort zones to unlock their full potential. The conversation concludes with a discussion on the impact of technology and corporations on human behavior. Easter acknowledges that many of the behaviors driven by technology and corporations are fun and rewarding in the short term. However, he emphasizes the importance of being conscious and intentional in our choices. Rather than blaming corporations or seeking external regulation, Easter believes that individuals have the power to make conscious choices and take back control of their lives. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.